Quite frankly, this was one of the most frightening moments of 2020 for me. There is something knocking on the door that is far more frightening. Welcome back to my very last video of 2020. This year was kinda special and will be remembered for so many things. Bushfires, killer hornets, and first of all, for the pandemic. So many trips and projects got cancelled this year for me. A scientific diving project in Portugal, the 2020 Freatic Cave project, the Scapa Flow Wreck project I wanted to make a documentary about. Tell me in the comments which planned trips you missed this year due to the pandemic. 2020 was an incredible year. I mean, so many things changed this year. Not only for the diving industry, but for almost every industry on the planet. The way we shop for groceries has changed. The way we have meetings has changed. The way we collaborate has changed. The way we look at things like learning and teaching has changed. The way we look at work in general has fundamentally changed. Even the way we look at toilet paper has changed for most of us. However, even with all the bad things that happened, there have been still positive things. I got involved in the production of the GOE e-learning materials I did diving theory via video conference. I could do a lot of literature research and I started this channel. This was an amazing experience. First, I thought that I could do at best five videos before I have nothing more to say or show. But I learned that technical diving has some potential on YouTube and that there are a lot more videos to make than I ever imagined. The channel blew up to almost 1000 subscribers from scratch and that happened because of you. You who subscribed to the channel, who watched my videos, who criticized me in positive and negative ways, which I both appreciate. And made me put so much effort into these videos in terms of content and production quality. Thank you very, very much. I'm very grateful for your commitment that made me learn and do something new and I hope I was able to inspire you in turn in some way. I'm very happy to continue my work on this channel in 2021. Please leave me a comment with a suggestion of things you would like to see in 2021. Still. There was a frightening key moment for me in 2020 that reminded me of something we must not forget with all the trouble 2020 brought. The pandemic was a massive change for everyone. Still, even if a third and a fourth wave and even more lockdowns are to come, there is something knocking on the door that is far more frightening. Slower than the pandemic, perhaps, but it will hit the world all the harder. This is biodiversity loss and climate change. Species are going extinct at alarming rates, hundreds to thousands of times above the baseline extinction rates. Up to one million animal and plant species face extinction, some just in a few decades. By the middle of the century, 30 to 50 percent of the total species found on this planet will have vanished. The loss of species and habitats poses as much danger to life on Earth as climate change does. The latter is a terrifying reality too. The 20 warmest years ever recorded took place in the last 22 years. We as divers are at the forefront to observe these changes in aquatic environments. Divers directly recognize coral bleaching, for instance. I observed it this year in the summer in between lockdowns when I could go diving. 
There is a spot in the North Sea I regularly dive. On almost every dive, you can observe normally hundreds of sea slugs called Elysia viridis. This slug lives in subcellular and a symbiotic relationship with chloroplasts of an algae species called Codium fragile. The slug feeds on the algae and absorbs the chloroplasts, which are the part of the plants that are able to perform photosynthesis. Hence, the animal can just live on the energy absorbed from the sunlight. When I was up there this summer, I saw barely any of these slugs. The few I saw were all yellowish white instead of green. There is data available that shows that the lack of chloroplasts and thus the loss of the green color may be due to increased water temperatures. Quite frankly, this was one of the most frightening moments of 2020 for me. Because I've never seen these slugs bleached in my entire life and I realized once more that climate change happens right in front of my eyes. It happens now and it happens exactly at the dive spots you love. And despite the hardcomings of 2020, you need to take action. You need to do whatever you can to protect environments, to limit climate change, to slow down the biodiversity loss. Still, political leaders don't take this seriously enough. They do often not listen to scientists and they do not take immediate action. I know at the moment there are problems in the world that seem more urging, but the shortcomings of 2020 will be insignificant compared to what awaits us if we don't get a grip on these problems. Get involved in an environmental organization, be it organizations like Project Baseline or any other organization that has the mission to protect biodiversity. Use your power as a consumer and make sure that the products you buy are as environmentally and climate friendly as possible. Influence your political representatives to achieve a rethinking in the governments. Don't be fobbed off with false promises and distant climate targets. This planet is literally on fire and we have to act like it now, together, decisively. I wish you all a happy new year 2021 and I'm grateful you listened to me. Thank you and see you next year.